is my ZOHD Dart XL. I'll give you a quick run through of what I've got so far with it. This this came basically almost ready to build. It ready. It was almost ready to fly. It came came standard with the ESC and uh, a motor, uh, a ZOHD motor. So I've got an, a Matec F22 wing flight controller for it. Um, it came standard with the ZOHD ESC. It's a 30 amp ESC and uh, it's come standard with a 1300 kV ZOHD motor. I've already installed uh, a GPS unit to it. Uh, that's the, um, the, the Beach and Jewel BN22 220 GPS. Um, has GLONASS with it as well. I use the same GPS on my Z84. It's very good. It picks up. Um, it picks up anywhere up to nearly 30 satellites. It's very good. So this is the video receiver I'm going to use for this one. It parts on uh, 1.2 gigahertz uh, long range receiver. It's a cheap alternative uh, you get from Banggood. Uh, that's the aerial that it comes with. Just a basic aerial. So the plan tonight, I'm going to just do some wiring tonight. Uh, just got some silicon wire here for the servos. Um, with this flight controller, you've got to solder in all the pins. So if anyone buys it, that's what you've got to do. All these need to be soldered in. I've connected up the GPS that's so already connected. Um, it, nothing's uh, nothing's uh, programmed too much yet uh, in the way of um, settings on iNav. Um, I have installed firmware onto the board. Uh, so the plan is to make up a few harnesses here. Uh, one will be for the video transmitter and I've got a R9 Slim uh, coming for it as well which will be my receiver which um, I'm not sure where I'm going to mount that yet alright so a couple of things I've had to sort out here first um, one one being with the uh, video transmitter, the parton um, just looking in here it's a 12 volt so the VTX on the Matek F, uh, F722 wing board. I've had to bridge the, um, the little little pad, put a solder across, solder across the pad to convert it from 9 volt to um, 12 volt. I'll put a picture on the screen just to show you what I'm talking about from the Matek website. So another thing I had to work out is my, um, my little ports tab here, or little We've got a little port here for the servo, uh, which goes into your wing. Which I've had to work out which of my wires in here is the top one. So I've just unscrewed that and just had a bit of a look. So I've put the uh, servo running on the top pins, and the bottom pins will be uh, things like video transmitter might go onto that, and on the other side could be um, receiver or or um, whatever else. So the same with the wing. I had to had to work out which of these cables here were respective to the pins in here. So it turns out the top of the wing, which is here, is my servo. My servos are running into the top, the top three pins here. Right. So the next step is what I need to do is make some cables up. So I'm going to run a cable. I want to run, what I'm going to. This is the wing. I'm going to put a tra video transmitter in this section here. These pop out like that to mount a video transmitter in. Uh, my wiring will will run along here, alongside in this channel, and it will feed to this plug here, which ends up being the three bottom pins. So I need to make a. Uh, Wire, wire harness up for that. Basically, about 200 mil long. Crimping these are way, is way easier if you've got the right tool. I'm using pet point nose pliers. Does the same job if you're careful.
step is we've got to take the VTX out of the casing. That'll make it lighter and it's uh, you'll find it'll be much smaller too. Mind you doing this will probably void your warranty, so keep that in mind. Very small compared to what we had. What I've done is I've widened out the section here for the um, for the antenna. So I'm going to have the antenna run up through here and just the out top of the wing. So, the next step is to glue it in. So it sits snug in there beautifully like that. It's nice and flat. And the wiring I'm going to have to channel around and just hook them up to my wiring harness that I just made. I've got quite a few adapters, but I'm not a big fan of that really, but um, uh, it's what it is, I might just have to look at buying a few different ones here to shorten all that, I'll lose signal a bit. But at the moment that will do, it works. So it sticks in beautifully like that, nice and flush. And at the top there for the aerial, these heat up quite a lot. Um, I'm a bit worried about it burning through the, through the wing foam in the wing. So what I've done, I've um, glued in a, a metal plate with a bit of a heat shield for it. I super glued that in there and the VTX will sit on top and make a bit of a heat transfer. Dry overnight, and that should be solid. Mm -hmm.